Welcome to Productivity in Real Life, where we talk all about your favorite note-taking and to-do applications like Notion, Evernote, OneNote, Google Keep, even Microsoft Sticky Notes or Notepad. Not only are we going to talk about using all of those applications, but we're going to put them all to use in real-world examples and show you how to make the most out of whatever application you're using. Over the next few minutes, I just want to talk to you about tags or what I call contextual keywords. And I may not use that phrase correctly here, but it's just something that I, that's what I've called them. And yes, it's it's tagging. It is identifying your notes with a specific word that lets you find them quickly and easily. I run Evernote as my main productivity system. You'll see here 45,000, just short of 45,300 notes today. And finding something that I want out of all those notes can be kind of tricky if I just use the basic search system in Evernote of looking for a keyword that is not a special kind of keyword if we want to put it that way. The same if I jump over to Notion and I want to find something and you just do that by keyword search for dog for instance. 21 results that's not too bad but I don't really use Notion to its full degree quite yet. And I haven't, certainly haven't brought everything over from Evernote into Notion yet. If I search for dog in Evernote, I've got just short of 1,700 notes that hit on the word dog. And I don't even have a dog. If I go to Todoist, there shouldn't really be. No, well, I've got a few things in here. Looks like some movies that I might want to look at. TV show, stuff like that. Everything to do with the word dog. Same with Microsoft OneNote. Search for dog. That results in a few different hits. So how do I filter that out? How do I get to the bottom of what I'm looking for in any of these note-taking applications and to be able to do it consistently. Well, in Evernote, of course, we've got tags that we can assign. I've got on this particular note here, research pets, shopping dog, and shopping wish list. Well, I don't really need it on my wish list, but shopping dash dog, research dash, dash pets. Like I said, I don't have a dog yet. But when I do get a dog, I want him to be able to carry his own gear on hikes, just like we've got pictured here. So I've collected a few pictures of dogs with backpacks. I've tagged them shopping-dog. To give me an idea of what the different backpacks look like on these different, different dogs. Seems simple enough. And they're tagged shopping-dog. Now, my automation is set up in a way that I can easily say, okay, I really like this one. I'm gonna send this to Todoist. So I have an action in my Evernote workflow where if I put a tag on there called Todoist, once it syncs up and does its thing, this will end up showing up in Todoist, saying, okay, let's get that backpack. Fairly simple, straightforward, to the point. However, what my contextual keywords do is let me use the same tagging system across any application that basically lets me search. So what you might see up in the title here is I do have dog pack. There's a couple of emojis associated with it that aren't rendering here in Evernote. It's like a shopping cart and a little picture of a dog. That's irrelevant. Dog pack makes sense. This one came from a, a National Geographic Instagram feed, so it's got my feed information that came in there as a tag on Instagram. But you'll notice at the end, Z-Dog. Well, 
that word doesn't even exist in the dictionary, Z dog. Let's go to back, back to this backpack. Dog pack, Z dog. What's going on here? Z dog. Boots. Well, actually, that's a collapsible water dish, but Z dog. Z dog again. What's going on? That word dog with the letter Z in front of it, or Z, whoever you prefer to use, is what I call my special tag or my contextual keyword. I can have a note on any system, and all I have to do is add that word in there, and all of a sudden, it makes for a search that will only show that keyword as it pertains to my system. So any of these notes, I now know that 10 out of these 45,000 notes with this keyword are something very specific to me that I have read through and I wanted to make a special note of. If I jump over to Todoist, ZDog, there's nothing in there because I'm not actually buying anything for the dog yet and that one note hasn't synced and come across. If I go to Notion, ZDog, there's a note right here with that keyword in it. What have I done? I've created a block of text. I've just given it a different color and I've put that keyword in at the start. Google Keep, same idea. ZDog. I don't need a new label for one article that I'm keeping that I've got over here in, in Google Keep. I don't need a special label just for the dog on one note. So instead of creating a new label through the, the hashtag symbol, I just have this, this keyword, ZDog, in the note. The note is then archived. You can see it's, it's archived because it's telling me unarchive it now. So it's, it's out of sight on my usual note page, but if I want to find it, search, ZDog, there it is. Back to Evernote, all 45,000 notes. Search for ZDog, 21 notes found. Microsoft OneNote, search. Three notes found. So you can see that is a, a keyword that's very specific. It's not an English language word or whatever language in, in your particular tongue is, but it's not what I will call an English language word that is going to get messed up in a regular dictionary search. So Z Dog is a very specific term that I use in my notes pertaining something specific to dog purchases, in this case dog photography, all kinds of things like that. I have those words elsewhere. If I jump back to Google Keep, I've got one on the current virus situation. I've got my dog, I've got Overland, my Productivity in Real Life channel, Z-P-I-R-L. Z Police Book, Z N Gifts. And that way in something simpler like Google Keep, I don't have to create a ton of labels that mess up the system. If I have a notepad note, I can create, here's my row of contextual keywords or those special tags maybe across the top and I can just create a note. I can save that on my computer. And then I could search through the files application for the word ZDog and get this particular note at any time, any place. 
simple as that. Anyway, that is it. That is a quick and dirty hack for being able to use an unlimited number of tags across whatever application you might be using at the time. So you might be saying, why would I use these Z words or special tags or contextual keywords, whatever you may want to end up calling them, in your regular notes when you can simply tag things in Evernote? Well, in, in this particular case, here's a journal entry, so there's a little bit of reading to do. I might be, okay, well, what am I talking about? Why did this come up as a hit on my ZDog keyword? So I can go over into my journal note, personal journal for February 2nd, search, control F in this case, ZDog. Look at that. There's the keyword that it hit on. This is in other scribbles section of my daily journal. Dog show also on the go here. We stopped in. Belgian Shepherd is a long-haired, less energy, Malinois type dog. A few huskies here too. Love the blue eyes and the red coat. Just a note. I don't need to tag this as something special for the dog. Um, but in my case, I did want to be reminded of it under this special keyword of mine. Like you've seen, shopping stuff. I might as well rename this right now, dog water dish. But I'll leave my special keyword on there. It still is tagged as a shopping for the dog. But it's information that I can come up with at any time. And if I happen to export, if I happen to say, okay, I'm done with Evernote, I wanna to go to a different application, all of my notes in Evernote, maybe come over into Notion, quick find, ZDog, anything that I've tagged with that special keyword right there comes up. Notion now does a little bit of something different and it's more intelligent so it's pulling everything else about dog but my note is at the start. Right there, search by newest first, ZDog. One note, you already saw that, how that worked. Dog with a bunch of notes to ZDog with three notes with my special little tag in there. So that's it, that is a quick and dirty way on using special tags in whatever application you're using. Like you've seen OneNote, Notion, Evernote, right down to Notepad. You can do the same thing with Apple Notes, Bear, Rome Research, anything. Todoist, all of these applications, whether they're note-taking or not, you can assign them a special keyword, whether it's in the title, whether it's in the body of the note, in a comment section, assign those keywords. And as long as your application lets you search, you will find those keywords or special tags, special keywords, special words, whatever you want to call them. It's a great way to keep stuff organized and to be able to call it up quickly, easily, and to only find what you are after. Let me know what you thought of that in the comments section down below, whether it was useful, helpful, or not at all helpful. Maybe you're already doing something similar to that. Maybe you've got a better way of doing the same situation. But remember, we're talking non-application specific. So yes, when you see me in Evernote, I've got tons of tags. But if I ever leave Evernote, quite potentially, all of those tags are going to disappear with me. So special keywords, special contextual keywords, in my case this Z words, are what I think is the answer. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget, make sure you're using special words that are not in the dictionary or if they are in the dictionary that you are manipulating them in a certain way to avoid false hits on your searches. And that is a trick to being more productive with whatever applications you're using. That's it for today. Be sure you like, subscribe, and of course, share this video. 
If you're subscribing, also don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of our new videos as they are released.